Welcome viewers and welcome back to my white void. Today in the void we're going to be checking out yet another brand new Mega Construct Pokemon set. It's pretty exciting because we get a brand new Pokemon build for once in my entire lives. Oh my goodness, finally! It's a smaller build so it's not as groundbreaking as my champ was. And here's a link to that review if you'd like to learn more about him. But this set is still pretty cool as it's a mini evolution line set with the bonus of a new build for once, so that's why it's special. Ninetales, baby! Here it is, all its glory, our beautiful Ninetales. I didn't think this one would be on the bucket list for a long while, but I'm not complaining because, like, I've loved freaking Ninetales. It's a giant Firefox, so what is there not to love? I do apologize, my box is kind of jacked up because Amazon thought it would be a great idea to ship it in an envelope instead of a box. I mean, it's not as bad as the time they shipped my Charizard and with just itself, but this is probably the second worst condition I've, I've had a box shipped in from Amazon, so thanks for that. So yeah, as you see here on the front, we got a lot going on. I think they've done a slight Vulpix redesign a little bit, so that will be cool to check out what they have improved. Of course, we have our brand new Pokemon Ninetales, which comes with plenty new exclusive pieces, so I'm very excited to see those. On the side here, we got this awesome shot of them kind of leaping across the box. Loving that. On the other side of the box, we have a shot of Ninetales sitting down, as well with its baby Vulpix. And yeah, while we're at here's the top of my crumpled box. And here again, it just shows them sitting down, but from a side view, which is pretty neat. And again, um, it's, you know, it's that awful purple-blue color, which is mega. And here's the back of our box, where again, it just shows them all doing their things. Um, not sure why they made the neck like that. It's kind of looking like a giraffe. Actually, the build looks really similar to the ponytails, if I'm being honest. So, unique choice there, but I'm not going to judge it till I build it. And then down here, it just shows some other available now sets. Which, I gotta admit, that new Gyarados, it, lo it looks pretty smooth. But nothing will ever beat the original in my heart. So yeah, overall, the box looks pretty nice for this. You know, just kind of the regular theming and pattern they've been using for these newer waves. But yeah, overall, I'm really excited just for the fact we get a brand new Pokemon. I already love Vulpix, and now we have Ninetales, and they just look really cute together in this set. So I'm very excited to open it. And... Give them a look because I'm very interested in this Ninetales design. How is this? How is this going to actually look physically? We're going to find out shortly here, folks. But first, enjoy the stop motion segment. And ta-da! Here is everything we get in this set. Now that I have that whole segment done, first off, let's give a quick little look here at the instruction book. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you know, a decently sized one. A little bit on the thicker end for such a small set, I'll say. But, oh yeah. Seeing all our wonderful various parts in here. And on the back here, it just shows some additional 
evolution set. And this set also came with another pamphlet that's similar to the McChamps. It basically just is a checklist of like the most recent Pokemon to have come out. Again, this really cool layout of just like all these giant world pieces put together, which as I've said before, actually does look pretty cool. A little chaotic, but I can see the appeal. It's, it's kind of cute. As for extra pieces, this is everything the set comes with. So yeah, not a ton, just a few little ones. All right, now that we have extras out of the way here, are the three basic components of the build today. And I guess let's first just take a quick look at this land piece here. Yeah, honestly, it's a, you know, it's a simple little land piece. Uh, I do like this nice little boulder rock sculpt here. Kind of nice to put nine tails on. I'll get into more of that in a moment. Very small and simple. Um, I don't know, maybe I would have liked maybe one more chunk of grass just to, I don't know, make it feel so condensed when they sit on it together. And these pieces here are actually super cool as they're actually glittery. Like, I haven't seen that this kind of material before. But yeah, it's just like this dark gray with this really pretty gold glitter on it. So that was really cool to see some of those glittery bricks to spice up the boulder a bit. You know, very cool. So let's take a look at the boy, Vulpix. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Honestly, Vulpix is adorable. And like, no, no joke. Basically, it's the same build as Eevee, but, you know, a fox. So I think Eevee's build like probably the most perfect combination they could get for like these smaller quadruped pokemon so honestly it's already peak as long as they do that in my eyes but i do love the little multicolored belly and i love the little paws oh and that face oh this face is adorable look at that sadly mine came with a very chipped up nose which is a bit unfortunate but that little face Oh, there's just some so precious every time I look at it. This piece, pretty nice. It's, uh, you know, pretty solid, but it doesn't feel like hard plastic. It almost, it does have that rubbery texture. It's not flexible, if you get what I mean, but it's very nicely sculpted. I do like that. But yeah, I do wish this little part just flopped down the head a little bit more. It just kind of sits there at a kind of awkward angle, but... I do like how they interpret that little hair piece in the back. So I don't know, I, I would say the hair piece is the only kind of awkward part about this. But yeah, other than that, I think that's a solid build. Uh, I actually haven't opened the other Vulpix that came in the Pokeballs yet, so I can't do an in-person comparison, but just looking between the two, they do look quite similar, but I can see some areas which they refined this newer model. Next up, we have Ninetales, our newest build to the family. It's a nice build overall, but it does have some slight drawbacks. All in all, the build is pretty good. Based on the box photos, I thought the build looked a bit awkward, but in person it actually turned out fine. If anything, the build is like a hybrid of Ponyta and the Evolution body base design with just a few tweaks. I do wish that the body was a little longer though, to kind of like accompany this elegant build. As a, like from a distance, it looks very small and scrunched up. Plus, I think a longer body might have helped balance the build as the tails are very heavy and need a counter for. So just, I, don't know, I guess maybe for visual and practical reasons, a little bit just a one or two stud longer body would have really helped. I feel like the back legs pop up very easily as well. Like, they won't fall apart if you bump into it, but if you mess around with the back legs at all, just be mindful of how you hold them to reduce this leg breakage issue. This rubber fluff fit is also pretty cool. Looks like a bandana of sorts. And I do love this rubber piece. Very flexible and springy. Now, the tails are where the main issue stems from. Like, the base of these tails are made of very heavy rubber, which I can see why they chose to do it like this. But at the same time, it causes the issue where the whole Pokemon just topples over due to it being too back heavy. This makes it a Pokemon where the stand is, like, highly needed. If you want to, I don't know, just have it like this, maybe, or the tails up. <laughs> Sometimes they do that, too. If you want any pose with the tails lifted up off the ground, you're probably going to need to use the base, but I mean, if you use the tails to like uh, hold it up like this or that, it works fine, but I don't know. I do feel like it's somewhat limiting in that sense. 
and I'm not really sure how they could have fixed this. Maybe a lighter type of plastic? But I still don't know if that would help. I don't know, this Pokemon just very highly, uh, stud or base plate recommended. Yeah, which is a little bit of shame about this build. But, uh, I mean, otherwise, they're, they're, they're fine. Sometimes they pop out a little easy here at the bases, but... Uh, you know, visually, I think it's a very good adaptation. Very cool. And, yeah, if you, if you can work around the whole tail-heavy thing, uh, I think it's a pretty good build. And there you go. That's pretty much all my main thoughts on this set. A solid evolution set all in all. Any day we get a new Pokemon build is a good day. So Ninetales gets a pass. The tail thing is the only main issue I have with it, but as long as you use a studded base plate or just position the tails on the ground, it shouldn't cause you any problems. Bullpix is adorable and sweet. And yeah, other than that, it's a simple, fun little set with Bullpix. And nine tails is very adorable, and yep, yeah, it's just a you know simple but classic one. So yeah, there you go. And that's all I got for today. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, now is a great time to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, as that would really help us out towards our 2,000 subscriber goal. Now, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day or night, and remember to stay groovy.